black and gold swag. These are perfect for New Year's designs. Um, even Christmas, I've seen some black and gold for Christmas as well. But I thought we could do a New Year's type design in black and gold. The star of our show really are these two ribbons right here. So we have our beautiful gold velvet fair silks. And then I have this embroidered ribbon that um, I've had in my stash for a while. I'm not sure where I got it, but find any black and gold ribbon that you can find and then pair it with a solid gold. So those will be the star today. And then we're gonna go in with some black um, sprays and some gold sprays. And we're gonna make a really pretty uh, New Year's holiday swag design. So I'm starting with this 30 inch swag base. Now, again, this is my personal preference. I like to use two. I just like them nice and thick, um, but you do not have to use two. You can just use one. And then I'm gonna go in on top with this black swag that we have. Since we're black and gold, we're gonna take use of this. And then I'm just gonna zip tie these two together. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Uh, swags are probably one of my favorite things to design. So I've got lots of swag videos. Um, swags and arrangements are probably my favorite. I will throw in some wreaths as well. But especially around the holidays, I love to design swags. They're probably my favorite thing. So I'm just going to kind of mix some of these together. Intertwine them. I'm gonna cut this little piece of tag or whatever it is off of this. Now let's get our let's get our foam made. So I'm gonna put the solid gold on the bottom. So I'm gonna make a nice big loop here. Let me make sure that's the right size, and then I'll measure it for you. Okay. So that is about a about a nine inch loop. Gonna get this tied up in there for me right now. I know with this design, we're gonna trail this down, trail this down the center. All right, but let's get our other ribbon added before we finish that. our other loops added here. Well, this ribbon is a little harder to work with because of the embroidery. Pretty thick. Sure my loops are about the same and they are okay now we're going to take and we're going to trail this sort of down the center i'm going to get these tied in now i don't want it to, i don't want to pull it and have it tight we want it loose because but we're going to be adding picks and sprays and things in here 
Okay, so I've got the loops on that. And then I'm gonna let it hang just a little bit past our swag here and cut it. And then I'm just gonna fold the ends under. I'm going to go in to the side here, twist, and create a little tail. And I actually just realized I forgot to do something, but that's okay. I'm going to cut these tails down just a little bit over on this side. Put the ribbon aside for now, and if we add more tails later, we can. Now I'm going to anchor our bow with some of our, just some of our pine sprays, okay? So I'm just gonna go in with some of our pine sprays. We're gonna go north, south, east, and west. Right up under those loops, give that a little bit of a bend. Right next to those loops. So we're going to do a little bit on the table and I'll get you guys a different view, maybe from the side or we'll put it up on the easel. I'm not sure yet. Okay, before we add too much pine, what I wanted to do originally, and I got ahead of myself, was I wanted to get these um, really pretty feather sprays sort of added going towards the bottom and up at the top. So let's see if we can work it in. I may have to untie this. That's okay. So I'm going to cut this stem down because I don't need it that long. And I'm just going to untie this real quick. And I want this to go straight up the center. So we can kind of have it it like that. Okay, so I'm going to take two of these pine ties, twist it, and add some glue in there. Okay, now let's get these back. I'm going to see if I can get it slid down in there. There we go. I just slid that down in there like that. And then I'm going to hit that with some glue. Okay, let me go ahead and get you guys um, a different view going on since we've got that part done. And we will finish it out. Okay, I think this will be a little bit better of a view until we're ready to put it on the easel for our finishing touches. I, I just work better on the table until I get to where I need to hang it up. So I'm going to go in now and I'm going to start filling in some more with our artificial pine before we get into our black sprays. So I'm just going to start tucking these, filling in our sides. Okay, so I'm just going right underneath that little tail. Okay, I'm going to start going all the way down the side. Get one of our little shorter pieces here. And 
going right, right up under that tail there. Cut the pine cone off of this one. I don't want pine cones on this. Now I cut up three of these. I'm probably going to cut up, probably going to need to cut up at least two more would be my guess. But we'll see. I didn't want to get too many cut up until we got moving. Moving and grooving. Because then I end up with scraps on the table. Now the pine is really just for filler. Use whatever greenery you have. By the time we get done adding all the uh, picks and sprays, you might see a little bit of the pine, but it's not going to be the star, if that makes sense. So we're going to have black and gold sprays in here. We've got some ornaments. So this is just kind of more to give us some, some filler. And I am definitely going to need to cut up a couple more of these. So just for reference, I've, that's three. Three to anchor our bow and to go down one side. So I'm going to cut up two more. Probably will get us through with the rest, I'm hoping. So let me do that, and I will be right back. I have gone all the way around the outside. I've got a couple pieces left. I want to go towards the center. I don't want to forget about the middle and underneath our design here, or underneath our little ribbon, or it's going to look like we have a big hole. get a couple pieces there and I think we need another piece right in here. Okay. So we have gone all the way around with our pine. I'm gonna go in now with another one of our little feathery feathery sprays. We're going to cut it up because we want to, we did top and bottom. We need to get the sides with some of this as well. So I'm going to see if I can cut this into two pieces here. And I'm going to go towards the center underneath that loop with that one. And I'm going to go on the other side. Gives it a little bit whimsy. Okay, let's get one more. Go right down towards the in this. I'm pushing it in the center, but it's going to kind of come out the side where we tied the loop in our little loop de loop. I'm going to put this one right up in here. These are fun, super fun. I think we need another one right here. So I'm gonna cut up another one. And if you don't want as much of the, if you don't want as much of the feathers, you can cut them down and you could just sporadically put in just a couple of these, just 
here and there. You wouldn't have to keep them in, the, in large sections like I am, but I like it. I think it's fun. And I think we are going to take, since I don't want to get another one of these, I'm going to take, just like I was talking about, I'm going to take and pull these so that we can get a couple added towards the top without getting a whole new bush. I'm going to go to the left and to the right. Because remember, we put the, put the one in the center. So let's go to the left and the right of our bow here. I'm just going to twist those together, get some glue on it. Maybe get that one in there a little bit better. I'm going to put this on here. It's wanting to come apart on Now I want to get our, I think we're going to go in with some of our gold. We have our gold um, Starburst sprays. We do have some more black sprays we're going to add with it. I want to get a couple of these added first. Just going to play with it for a second. I think I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna keep it together. I think I'm gonna keep this one together and go right there in the center. See, I just put that one right here. And I think I'm going to go in with the next one. Okay, now I'm going to go diagonal from that one. And I think I'm going to go right in here. Close to where we tied in our little roller coaster. Right to the side of that. Now this is going to be a nice whimsical design, fun. Okay, so we have opposite of each other. Let's go complete our triangle. I'm going to go opposite and I'm going to go right up here with the next one. Okay, I'm going to go right underneath Our loops here with that. So I'm gonna to try to get it down in there good. Okay, I brought in one more of those, and we are gonna use it as just double cut it up and kind of use it to fill in. But I want to get um, another one of our blacks glitter sprays at it before we do that. So I am going in now with our, um, I think this is our black incense cedar glitter spray. So we're going to cut a few of these up. And we also have a couple ornaments we're going to add. Actually, we might add the ornaments before we add these. Okay, let's go in with our ornaments before we do those. 
So I have these. I got glue on this one, so I'm gonna try to get the glue off real quick. I guess I dripped. I dripped on it. Okay, so these ornaments are part of our um they are part of our champagne set. Um but there's two in a pack. One is more of a champagne color. This one has a little bit more of a gold color. So I just used two sets and I pulled out the gold ones, if that makes sense. And we're gonna use two of these. I don't have any of the large gold jeweled ornaments. If you did, that would be beautiful in here. I just have the little ones um, left. So we're gonna add two of these. I just gotta figure out where I want them. Thinking I want one right in here, kind of right where we tied that in, where we tied our little roller coaster in. So let me get the tag off. I want the pretty side on top. So I'm gonna take and To twist the stem around it, but then I'm going to glue it as well so it's not flopping everywhere. Okay, so let me add some glue to that. Okay, so I have that one there. Thinking we're gonna put the other one up in our bow. Let me see. I want to end the bow or come to the side. Right there. I'm gonna let that let that glue do its thing. And we're going to start going in now with our little black sprays. So I know I want some in. Actually, I want to have another piece of pine. And it's in between the velvet and the embroidered is what I'm doing. Okay. So I just went right in between the velvet and the embroidered with that piece of greenery. Just to kind of fill it out a little bit more. And I think we need a piece right in here. So I'm actually going to use another one of these bushes. So I don't remember where we're at now. I will count the tags up. I think we're at six. Because I have three. I cut up two more. And then this one. So it's six. Yes, we are at six of the pine. Again, scale up, scale down. Design according to your budget or your customer's budget. Pine is optional. You could just go in with sprays. You are the designer of your own arrangement. But this is what I'm doing. Okay, I got one there. Now I'm going to go in between. I'm going to layer in between the velvet and that embroidery. Now let's, I still have one more piece. I'll probably save it for, actually I may put it right in here. We got a little hole there. Went right in the center with it. Okay, I just went right in the center. We have a little hole there. Okay, now I'm gonna start going all the way around with our little black cedar sprays. I'll do a couple with you guys and then I'll speed this part up because I'm just gonna start going all the way around the outside. Let's 
So let me show you. I'm just going right around the outside. So I'm going to put two. I'm going to go all the way around the outside first. And then we'll start filling towards the inside. Okay, so I have a few pieces left to put on the inside, but before we do that, I have um, two, I have some ornaments that I'm going to figure out if I want to add them. So I have some of these gold star ornaments. And I want to see if I want to get them added before we fill in. Let me take the little ring off. Now, I'm going to get, these ornaments are a little heavier. I'm going to get a piece of wire to wrap right through that little hook. And then I'm going to tie it onto one of these pine branches, and then we'll add our glue. That'll just give us a little more support to keep it from falling off, since it is a little heavier. Use whatever gold ornaments you have. If you have um, the little gold ornament balls, those would be great. I looked for some today when I was at the store and I didn't see any. So I knew I'd have these stars. Let me see where I want this other one. Looking right in there. Okay, let me get another piece of wire. We're going to put one down here underneath that tail. Okay, I have one more I think we're going to put up right in this section right here where we kind of have a little bit of a hole. right in the center there. Let's get one right here. Okay. Now we have another gold glitter spray. I think we're gonna take a couple pieces. I'm just going to take and clip a couple pieces of this. Just like that. Just a couple little pieces. I'm going to add mine on the pick, but you can just glue it in there. I'm going to get a couple pieces where I want them. Actually, what I'll do, guys, is I'm going to cut up a couple pieces of these. I'm going to hang this on our little um, easel. Then we'll come back and finish it up so you guys can see what it looks like when it is hanging up. We can see if we need to add any more. I did bring in another black spray. I brought in this one. So if it looks like we need still a little bit of filler, we can go in with that. I also have these um, gold glitter sprays. I don't know that we're going to use them because we are already using these little wispy ones. I could probably tell you we won't be, but we'll hang it up and we'll just see. So let me finish cutting these up and then I will be back. Okay, now that we have it hung up, I can see that we need another little feathery grass bush kind of right in here to kind of finish our shape. So I grabbed another one of these. Push that right up in there. And then I think 
Let me see, but I think this is going to be put towards the bottom. I'm not going to glue it just yet. Y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but I think I want one at the top and at the bottom. I'm going to push that down a little bit more. I'm going to cut this just a hair shorter. I don't want to have it like a weird mohawk, but I'm going to push that down in there pretty good. So we got a few more wispies there. Okay, and then I'm going to take another one, which I have lost count. So I will add them up and all the supplies will be listed in the description. I'm going to put one towards the bottom. I have one more piece of this. And I think we're going to go in with it right there. Yeah. All right, so now let's finish it off with our little pieces here. Let's see where we want to get these added. Get another one on that side of the little ornament. In hindsight, I probably we probably could have made our loops a little bit bigger, but it still looks good. I don't know if, if you guys are the same as me, but sometimes I end up designing more on one side than the other. And I don't notice it until I go and take pictures and then I realize one side is heavier than the other. And that's what happened on this one. I did more on this side than I did on this side. So we're just gonna kinda give this side some love. Going to see something real I almost think I want to add either another loop or a tail of this skull right here. We're going to do a tail. So I'm just going to put it on the pit.
think we're going to have a tail there. I'm just pleating this and putting it on a pick. If you don't have a pick machine, you can wrap it around a wooden floral pick. I don't measure my tails. I just, it's too long, I cut it. But it's better to be long than short. So just for reference, this is about 12 inches. This is optional, y'all. Don't have to add all these tails. This ribbon is not cheap. I, I understand that. This is just for my design. I'm going to add another one right in here. I'm going to let that for just a second. Oh, I tried to set my finger off. Okay, I think we have finished our beautiful black and gold swag. I think it turned out gorgeous. I'm going to take pictures if I see where it looks like it has little holes. I'll just fill in either with some more of the pine or some more of the black cedar um, just to fill it in. But I think it turned out beautifully. I hope you guys enjoyed this design. Perfect for New Year's um, or even Christmas and the holidays. Um, if you are new to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you'll be notified every time we have new tutorials. So until next time, bye y'all.